Believe it or not, I'm calling with shoes. With shoes on my head. It sounds like uh, feet ready to be worn by my happy, happy people. Okay, these blanks will soon be filled with the greatest art you've ever seen in your life. Ever. Alright? Never in your life have you seen a shoe filled with so much heart, so much passion, so much emotion, to the point where it makes you cry and smile. It makes you want to go hug your mother. Okay? Action Sports. Vance. 2015. I'm gonna start up. <laughs> Life is okay, say after me well, It's not better to be safe than sorry Take on me Take Designing a shoe based on action sports is no easy task. It takes years and years of perfection and practice and training to understand and comprehend. My name is Aaron. I'm the captain of this team. No, you're not. <laughs> yeah, I am. Are you? My name is William Neath, and I'm a schedule keeper. Hi, my name is Morgan Freeman, and today I'll be talking to you about action spots. This is Trey. He's in charge of drawing the whole thing. Hello, everyone. My name is Trey. And I'm Jacob Gibbs, and I edited the video that you're watching and listening to right now. Today in action spots, we'll be talking about Morgan Freeman. No, I don't. One second, Ma! I'm not waiting any more seconds to get down here right now, young man! Ma! Just put it in the microwave, I'll eat it later! I do my own stunts, Mom! The process of designing the shoes began with etching down ideas on paper and even on fabric to get a feel of what drawing on the shoe will be like. Snowboarding and skateboarding were the sports that we ended up going with. Here's some of the ideas that we actually had in the beginning. I don't think we ended up using most of these. Something that we didn't think about was actually drawing the snow. Since the shoe was already white, we didn't really have any cause to draw on it, but... It kind of felt like it was missing something. We made good use of shadows to show that the snow is there and in clumps. And Trey, why are you looking at me like that? I'm recording here. Once the ink was on the shoe, it was permanent and it could not be removed. So Trey had to keep a steady hand while he was drawing on it. To decrease chances of error, we drew on the shoe with pencil, which was erasable. Finally, we had a shoe finished, and we only had one more left. After all the blood, sweat, and tears we used to make the ink, I do all of the ink and sharpie markings on the shoe. Finally, both shoes were done. Both keeping a similar theme, but different in terms of style. The high top's perfect shape was imperative to making the hills and the snowy backgrounds. I know what you're thinking, Super Saiyan Barney. At long last, the shoe is finally finished. 